Hello everyone and welcome back to another incredible chess game by Paul Morphy. Maybe you see this chess game before because this was a very famous and then incredible chess game by Paul Morphy against Napoleon Maraj from 1857 New York. When Paul Morphy was active as a professional chess player in 1857 he won the first American Chess Congress, one of the most legendary chess tournaments of all times. This is not black to move, this is white to move. In this position, it looks like Napoleon Maraj is causing troubles to Paul Morphy. He played bishop to 3 forking the queen and the rook, defending and then capturing the rook, capturing the knight, defending the bishop, d takes on c3, bishop to c1, defending. But look at white's position, look at the pieces of white. Every piece of white is backed up. White is inactive, and on the other hand, Paul Morphy is active. His pieces are working perfectly, even though he lost the rook. But he has three extra pawns, and also this pass pawn is looking dangerous. In this position, we have bishop to f4, rook to d8, defending the queen. A typical chess game of Paul Morphy. This was the brilliancy of Paul Morphy. So after queen to c2, we have knight from c to d4. And also it looks like Morphy's knights are looking very active. Queen to e4. What would you do in this position? It is black to move and win. So this is the critical moment of this chess game. Maybe you see this move before, but let's try to guess the move. If you haven't seen the move. So I will only give you 5 seconds. So I'm assuming that you see the next move of Paul Morphy before. As this was a very famous chess game. What would you do in this position? Your time is starting from now. In this position, Paul Morphy sacrificed his knight. He throws his knight into the fire. What an incredible move by Paul Morphy. Also attacking the queen. And Napoleon Maraj. Without any questions, he captured the queen. Well, if bishop takes knight or pawn takes knight, then capturing the queen. Queen takes on e4, and this is losing for white. So in this position, Paul Morphy throws his knight on g3, knight to g3 by Paul Morphy. Did you see this move? Well, Napoleon Maraj captured the queen. And in this position, there is checkmate in one move. Morphy's knights are working perfectly. A typical attacking chess game by Paul Morphy. Well, he played knight from d to e2. Where is the king going? Nowhere. Check, mate. An incredible chess game by Paul Morphy. An incredible sacrifice. What a move. What an incredible checkmate. Look at the king. Smothering the king and checkmating the king with two knights. The final position looks like a piece of art. Black doesn't have the queen, but black has the activity of his knights and checkmating the king. So this is one of the critical moments of this chess game. Knight from c to d4 and Napoleon Maraj doesn't know what to do. He played queen to e4, but now knight to g3. And of course if capturing the knight, then capturing the queen. The queen is hanging. So what else? Capturing the queen. But then Paul Morphy checkmated the king. Knight from d to e2. Check. Mate. An incredible checkmate by Paul Morphy. And thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye.